Welcome to Revit Warnings Resolved, one in a series of videos showing how ID Explorer can be used to resolve Revit warnings. In this video, we'll showcase the duplicate marks warning. To prepare ourselves for warnings work, we should first check our tools. You want to have at the ready ID Explorer with the Warnings tab active, an understanding about the project requirements and whether it is acceptable to have blank values for the marks, and most importantly, you need the authority to be able to edit the mark values. One consequence of the duplicate marks warning is a non-compliant deliverable. In many cases, the mark value is a required unique property per the BIM execution plan or for the COBE deliverables. Another consequence would be construction or estimation confusion. The mark value is often used as a reference to a unique element. Your project could be at risk if two spaces, rooms, or piece of equipment have the same number. Now we'll take a look at two possible methods to resolve this warning. Our first method should only be used if it's acceptable to have blank values for the mark field. If this property is not important to your project, the steps to eliminate this warning are very simple. You'll begin the process by using the Warnings tab on ID Explorer to select all the elements found within the single warnings instance, as shown here with these beams. Next, you'll go to the Properties palette to select the value for the mark or the number. You'll hit Delete to remove the value, then Apply. Changes to property values do not trigger a refresh in ID Explorer, so the last step is to use the Refresh button to remove that instance as it's been cleared out. While this method is easy, it may not be acceptable in many projects, so now let's review how to address the problem by adjusting the mark or number values. To make the values unique, you'll need to select each element from within the Warnings group. Then, use the Properties palette to edit the mark or number value to make it unique within the project. It's likely you'll need to repeat this process for each instance noted. And because these parameter value changes don't constitute a Revit element change, we'll need to occasionally refresh the warnings data as we proceed to mark our progress. And for those interested in bulk editing these kinds of changes, ID8 Renumber, which is part of the ID8 Apps collection, can also be used to assign unique values, as shown here. Warnings are a key indicator of Revit project health. Stay on top of your Revit warnings with ID8 Explorer to improve performance and reduce risk. Learn more at ID8Software.com forward slash ID8Explorer.